Hello guys, Kelly here again from Kells Aquarium. So, what we have today is some Maxpect Nanotech Biospheres and some Nanotech Bio Blocks. Now, they are some I've been wanting to try for a while. This and Marine Pure, if I'm being honest. Um, but this is about half the price for the same amount, the way I see it. Um, so what we have is, it's basically used in treatment plants and it's apparently real good at getting rid of ammonia and nitrate. So, actually I assume nitrate as well, because you know, it's just a thing. But yeah, apparently the spheres, for instance, these, these here. Let's try and get a nice close zoom. Um, as you can hopefully see, it's just ton. It was probably millions of little beads, all just touching. So they're ultra porous. I have already tested them because I've made this video once and turns out my phone at the end of it said error or something like that and just deleted that file. So we're doing it again. <laughs> it's a good job there's two blocks in there because one's already in my sump now. <laughs> um, so which I'll show you at the end because I've already got that bit of video which was the second one. So each of these spheres is apparently 54 square meters of surface area. Which is a bloody lot when you consider a kilo box like this is apparently to treat a 750 gallon tank or 2850 litres. But you get a big box of them. Oh, sorry, to bear with me. So you get a big bag of them, which we're just going to put there for a minute. I'm going to show you them in water and stuff because that I might melt your wig a bit. It did, man. <laughs> so I'm just getting rid of that. So what we have is one of them now on the floor. On the plus side, they're really hard. <laughs> it's back on the table. They're not brittle. They are just very hard ceramic balls. I say it's like sand, if you know what I mean. It's just, I mean, you can see the size of my hands comparison with these little little nano beads. But by elder, that does the, the, these absorb some water. So that's the uh, spheres so you get a box there I'm gonna put some of these McClannies into a canister filter for me goldies so that should be okay with them and then I've got one of the one of these just randomly in my sump because pff, I had one out to do the last video when it all went wrong and I've used one of these so I'm gonna show you the other one of them now and so back in the saddle so it's a four inch by four inch by one inch Block. It's got a max spec logo on the front. Well, I'm calling it the front. Don't really make a difference. But it's got no else anywhere else. And I say it's solid. They do obviously shed a bit, but these have been obviously grinding together for ages. But I'm um, just trying to give me a bit of uh, a bit of action. Yeah. So as you can hopefully see there, look, there's loads and loads of the little beads what have come off. But I say these have been grinding about in a bag and a box together, so you're going to get some. But yeah, as you can see, that's it. It's just like sand. So, I'm going to show you a test now, because that's the interesting bit that I've already done before. So, you know, I'm going to use some uh, New Life Spectrum Cichlid food as part of my test. <laughs> One, I don't have cichlids, so why have I even got two, brand two tubs of that? But yeah, I've got a jug of water and a bit of this, and I just want you to see how, how porous it is, look. <laughs> Not a drop anywhere. And none to come out yet either, because it is so ultra porous that it'll just absorb so much water before it, I mean, don't get me wrong, if you blow into it, you can obviously feel you breathing through it, you know, you do blow through it, it's not like you, but it'll start in a bit. Yeah, look, here we go. Look, it started coming out of all over the place now. So, as you can hopefully see, it's, there you are. Look, it's all coming out now. I'm checking it. But yeah, do it that way. It comes out that corner. Do it this way. It'll come out of that corner. Because that's just a look. Oh, you bastard. That's just a load of beads all together to make a ridiculous amount of surface area. And a ridiculously porous piece of kit, so I can understand why it do nitrates. If it seems to be the thing at the minute, everyone says they do. Everyone's media does nitrate removal now. Now 
it is meant to be anaerobic bacteria layers, so I can understand that if that's as porous as it seems to be, and I've just sort of proved it is, there's a good chance that that would get some anaerobic bacteria if left over time. So, yeah, that's it. That's full of water now, and I'm actually going to use it. So I'm going to have to put it. I'm going to put it near a radiator for a bit. This I'm going to. Uh, I did it my, last time. I did a terrible thing. I dipped this in and then blew into it to try and show you the water coming out at different angles on the video. What went wrong? And I just ended up with tons of water on my deck down there. But yeah, what I'll do with this is the same. Just put it in. Now that is absolutely full. I can already feel how heavy it is in comparison with how heavy it was when it went in. That is full of water now. Oh, come on. Come on, camera. You're killing me. Yeah, so that's actually just got so much water in it. But, <laughs> without blowing into it and getting it everywhere, I'm looking like a dickhead on the camera. Can't show you it. So, that was just all I really wanted to show. I just wanted to basically show how porous this stuff is. And how much water it actually... Oh, it's sodden now, so it's good. As you can see, it's all coming out now, but dripping out from underneath, or wherever you hold it. <laughs> but yeah, cool gear. And I like Max Spec stuff in general. I mean, I, I, just because it's Max Spec, I won't say it's good. I mean, I've bought all this myself. I, you know, I'm just trying it. They're all sealed. It's not a problem. But yeah, I've got a light. I've got a Max Spec razor, and I love it. So cool. I'll move on to the next bit now, what I did earlier. <laughs> Before I move on, this might work or might not. But I don't know if you can see, shaking it like this. <laughs> Look how much water's actually coming out of it. Which one coming out a minute ago. Now I am obviously shaking the camera about a lot, but yeah, that is full of water. So it's so porous that it's all all that water even though it's like sat on here. Uh, it's got to be now there, yeah, you just, you've got to shake it or, you know, but I say, with water flowing through it, that's going to be a beast for biological filtration. Bit of a camera failure. So two of these, as I was saying, um, in my sh in the, my local shops and stuff, or online I believe as well, is still less than one of the, sm the thin, the one inch thick marine pures. So... This is the same size, if you think this is 4x4, that's 4x4, and 1 inch thick, they're 8x8 and 1 inch thick. But these are half the price, the max spec ones. Now, I haven't used Marine Pure, I've heard good things about it, but this stuff, just, I can tell. Do you know when, just, I don't know how to explain it, it's, uh, you can just sort of, after playing with it and feeling it, dipping it in water, seeing how water flows through it, just seemed really good so what I'm gonna do is say uh, bang that in my sump bang a few of these in one of my canisters and see how it goes so you get a bag with them that comes in a kilo of that stuff and a biggish bag nice big bag with a it's a massive bag anyway <laughs> with a tie drawstring top so you can put it all in and sling it in a sump or something but yeah my only issue is we're going over there now He's still in the mix. My only issue is, let's look at my sump for a minute. So, near the return, there's bags of Matrix, and that's that Fluval one, I can't remember what it's called, Biomax, and then there's some, um, beyond, over there, there's some uh, Sera stuff, it's the Ciparax Mini, sorry, I'm just getting rid of that lid, but some Ciparax Mini over at the back, there's loads, there's another bag of some up there. There's 10 litres of K1 Micro in there, gonna be more in a minute. There's three filter socks, and then there's this, which I say Ceraciparex. Um, there's a bit of dirt in there, because one of them was overflowing. <laughs> I've got EAM Substrat, EAM Biomech, some Matrix, then some more EAM Substrat, some more, uh, it's called Ciparax, Sarah Ciparax, and some more substrat over there. And then there's Biome, there's, there's all sorts. So I've already got a ton of gear in, and it's where to put it. <laughs> this new stuff to test. So what I'm going to do, now I've finally got me, me moving bed moving exactly how I want it. So again, I'm just going to be a sec, just taking this off. 
So yeah, it's doing what it needs to do. So dripping water everywhere. I ain't thought things through. <laughs> but yeah, using a, basically these big long long bubblers. There's a bigger in the middle, and we're doing all right. It's getting getting by. So so yeah, as you can see, hopefully. There's just bags and bags of gear in there. There's some more Ciprax minis on that little sad bit there. There's, oh, there's all sorts in here. But I do want to try some of this Max Be Bio Black. So I'm going to find somewhere to put a block of that stuff. It might end up in that end, to be fair. I mean, I feed heavy. I ain't, my tank isn't like super crazy. I've just scared all the fish away. <laughs> For Bio Lord. There is still quite a lot of fish in it, but you know, you get what you get. As you can see, there's loads of them there, but the light's been real weird, so. But yeah, so I'm gonna sling some in here and see how I get on, but I can't see it being bad. I've just had a good look at it. But I say, for me, it's finding where to put it. <laughs> uh, probably put the block in there, maybe try a couple of the balls in this bit, and just see how I get on. So, and that's about with that. Thanks for watching. So this is this has all been about that stuff. The Maxpec Nanotech Biospheres and the Nano Blocks. But yeah, cool stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye. So back in the saddle, I've sort of turned me my moving bed into a pant of Guinness. Oh, I've got an head on it. <laughs> so, <laughs> and the new stuff. You can tell the difference between the seeded media and the non seeded. Hopefully, there. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's just sat on top. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that, that's, that'll uh, kick in when it gets uh, some bacteria on it. And all I've done is put that block there. So, that's just one of the blocks but the water comes from this bay into there and down and then sucked in so hopefully it'll be sucking water through um, and we'll see how it goes so, yeah. I've got no problems now with the uh, water quality so I can't see it being much of an issue you know having that in a knot but you know you sling them in give it a go don't you gotta play gotta enjoy yourself gotta have an hobby so thanks for watching on this uh, quite dull but product thing. I thought you'd buy.